system. Let's think about this a little bit more. Okay, let's get to the top. You know, let's get to the top. Of the three yeah, boys in waiting for this. Yeah, we right all now. just yeah. want to talk about yeah. uh, India breaking this. What about three hours ago? Not even that, maybe yeah. breaking this world record. 104 satellites in in, in, in one shot. Um, uh, really, this this agency is becoming a, a very serious player in the in the race. Well, look, look, if we've seen anything that's come out of India over the last decade, two decades, it's innovation, <laughs> and appetite for delivering new mm. technology. We've seen it aggressively happen in tech markets, in other businesses, and this is another area that India is looking to lead on globally. Mm. Yes, it's broken the record, which I think the Russians held in yes, 2012. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 104, as you say, Aaron, satellites right. on this one rocket. Now, you know, the size of these things has changed drastically yeah. over right. the years. Great capability. 96 of them are from the US. Mm -hmm. okay, so they're, they're dealing with international markets here. But the question is, it's about capability. Now, we here in the UK are also building a great capability in satellite construction. We have a, a satellite catapult that the government funds, really world leading in terms of how we develop technology here. Uh, the Indians are trying to be, a, well, play the race, the satellite yeah. space race, I think. And, they, and, and they do it very, very, and they can do it for very, very cheaply. But I get, I'm getting, a, I've had lots of tweets this morning, a question you mentioned about the UK doing this. So here's the question. India has a, a space program. India has nuclear weapons. A third of Indians live on less than a dollar a day. But if they've got a space program, they've got a nuclear program, should the likes of UK, Australia, be giving India aid? You've got about 30 seconds. Right. Well, look, the question isn't about where should the money be spent. Even in the UK, as we spend in the, in the satellite industry, we have questions about should that money Money going to the NHS? Should it go into welfare reform? Should it go into other factors? I think the Indian government is looking at investing in innovation that will deliver for its economy and help that vast population to raise its standard of living. It's a macro conversation about policy and politics and where you place your bets. But I think, you know, good on the Indians for doing it. Okay. There are other countries also trying to achieve it as well. Corvia Ranger, thank you very much indeed for talking to Aaron Hazel. I know, I'm yes, sorry I had to get that to question in. To fully understand what's happening in your 